Breaking your laptop screen is a traumatic experience, but there can be blessings in disguise when this happens. Something that you shouldn't be paying me to do is replace your laptop screen though, if you're comfortable with handling a screwdriver. Now I'm comfortable with uh, handling tools, I'm a small man with a very large tool. So today I have an HP Omen, what I like to call HP Oh man. And my customer is complaining that there's a white splotch or there's, there's white splotches on the screen and they want to replace the screen. It's a very straightforward, simple process. Now, instead of buying the same exact display panel, which is a 1080p display panel, it's like 165 hertz, you can actually upgrade some gaming laptops, some other laptops as well. So Lenovo ThinkPad, that's common to upgrade the screen. And on gaming laptops, it's common to upgrade the screen because a lot of times they come in different configurations from the factory. So whether or not the screen can actually be upgraded to a higher resolution or a higher refresh rate depends on the cable that the screen came with and the display that you already have. So this one has a 1080p display, 160, uh, 165 hertz, I think. Might be 169. Regardless, I already did the research and I know the screen can be upgraded. So I'm gonna go through the process of doing it if you wanna do it yourself. So why don't you come over here, not Lupe, and holy shit, that's disgusting. Okay, you know what, let's uh, be right back. Get a load of this guy. I need two spots. Oh, fucking kill me. Well, that was exciting. Let's try that again. Rip out your binoculars for this one, folks. Can you see that little itty bitty white dot there? Very difficult to see, very, very small. I'm sure you're, you're well equipped at looking at small things that are very hard to see, microscopic things even. I can understand that this guy uh, wants to replace his screen because of that. It is what it is. What are those, you may ask? Uh, that's probably debris that got in through the backlight, just judging by the amount of crumbs and whatever is in this keyboard. It was probably some sort of debris that ended up behind the backlight on the screen and it's damaging the panel or whatever. I don't know, I don't, I don't get paid to think, I get paid to fix. So that's what we're gonna do. So this screen is 1080p, 165 hertz or whatever. Now I need to know what panel the screen is. A lot of the times people will just use the model number of the laptop, which is located right there on HP's. I don't like doing that. I like getting the direct part number off the panel itself because a, you can save a lot of money if you just enter that into eBay. It's the direct model number instead of entering in the model number of the laptop itself. And you can make sure that you're getting the correct display panel. Because the last thing you want to do is, I mean for me, the last thing I want to do is replace it with something that doesn't work and then tell the customer, hey, I'm going to have to wait another two weeks to get a panel in. You know, then I look like a dingus. And you shouldn't want to do that either because it, it, it sucks. Thankfully, I will give HP credit on this. It's rare, but it happens. This is super easy to work on. Um, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm not even gonna use anything else. I'm gonna, I, I lied. I'm not gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna use a plastic spudger. I'm gonna turn this puppy on its back. I'm used to that. And I'm just gonna take the spudger in. And you gotta be gentle with this because these screens are very thin. The bezel is very thin. I'll show you as soon as I take it off. So you wanna be careful not to like uh, go in too far because you will damage the screen. I wanna maintain this screen. If this screen was broken, I wouldn't care. I would just start going ham prying it. Of course, making sure not to break the clips, but I wouldn't be so gentle trying to protect the screen itself. Once you get that one clip, generally, you can just start peeling. Sometimes it's, it's harder on others. This isn't a how-to of kind of how to replace your screen. This video is more like a look what you can do if you break the screen. Um, this, again, this HP is super easy. I mean, the thing came right off. No broken clips. They use good plastic on this one, ironically. And I think that's some adhesive. All right, no, God, just get off of there. Don't you, don't you dare look at my X1 carbon over there. Don't, hey, hey, don't you dare. So the thing that does suck about these new screens on laptops is they're not held in with screws anymore. My OGs in here will know that we used to be able to just, there was four screws, the panel came right out. No more, no more poppy. It's, uh, it's, it's loaded with adhesive now. I already removed the adhesive because I already had to order the screen for this computer. So I'm not, I'm not gonna show you how to remove the adhesive. It's a pain in the ass though. So what I'm gonna do, since I already went through the adhesive, I need to gently peel the screen back up uh, because I did give the customer back this computer in the meantime while I ordered the part. So I uh, attached it back to the frame with some Tessa tape. There we go, so super easy. Yours is not gonna be that easy. Here we go. 
Here's the model number of this bad boy, right there. Now, I'm not gonna disconnect the uh, connector to get the model number. So if you're doing this, then you don't have to disconnect the battery. You always should. But since I already have the upgraded screen right here, which is a 1440p screen, I am gonna disconnect the battery because I'm gonna change the screen. So I'm gonna just put this back in, in there like swimwear, and I'm gonna unplug the battery because the last thing you wanna do is blow the backlight on these, which is super easy to do if you do not disconnect the battery when you are replacing the screen. All you need for this job is a pair of tweezers and Phillips screwdriver and tiny raccoon-like fingers. And if you do not have fingers that are tiny and raccoon-like, you can probably get away with whatever fingers you have. The HPs are generally pretty easy to take apart. Sometimes they do hide screws under these, uh, these little feetsies over here, but uh, this one, I don't think the Omen does that. Already, man. Wow, what is it with gaming laptops? Already, look at the gooch that's just spewing out of this thing. All right, so we got some more clips. Ah, oh, there it is. There we are. Why does it do that? <laughs> My nipple must have touched it. Yeah, you're on a little higher. And you take me higher. And there we go. There's the great unveil. Not too bad. I've seen much worse. I've seen much worse. I probably will blow it out before I uh, before I put it back together, but uh, for now, this is the battery. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna take my spider, take my fingernail, and that's it. Battery's disconnected. Oh yeah, that's that's some spicy stuff. I'm gonna flip it over back onto its onto its hiney and gently, nice and slow, perfect. And now we have the connector. So this little piece of tape thing comes up, and this is a 40-pin non-touch connector. And I checked, and thankfully, on the FHD, which is a 1440p, it uses the same exact connector. It's a 40-pin connector, so that means I don't have to buy a new cable. That makes this job uh, like 10 times easier, because if you do need to buy a new cable, you have to take the hinge assembly off, and you see how everything's connected. It's not the end of the world, you know, we're not gonna, you're not gonna die while doing it. Or you may. I die often doing simple repairs, as you see in my videos. So, now that I have the, the correct cable, we're gravy. I'm gonna take this old display, which is, it's seen some stuff. I'm gonna put it somewhere safe where I definitely won't drop a screwdriver on it later and break it. And this is the new screen. So this, uh, this has the cover on it. Generally, I like to put a piece of paper here, but since this already has the cover on it, I'm not gonna do that. A piece of paper will protect your screen against from uh, scratches and all that stuff. So I'm going to gently, this is going to be a tough one. Here, why don't you come in. Come closer. So be very gentle with this because if you do it wrong, you can bend the edges of the clip right there and it just, it becomes a pain in the ass. So oh, we're almost there. I feel it. There it is. Now this is where the tweezers come in because this thing is really small. This is what you usually use to go to the bathroom. You'll, you'll be able to do it no problem. It made a click on both sides and when it makes that click, I know it's in. So you can see that it's in, there's no gap right here. All right, flex the spot. You need to chill with the sensitivity on this thing because my nipple just touched it again. You're scaring my camera, man. So you can see there's no gap in there. That means it's connected. It has this, this is adhesive. So this basically makes it so the connector isn't gonna go anywhere if the laptop gets like thrown out of a plane or something. And be careful with these two because you wanna make sure that they line up where they were originally. You gotta tuck it in. You see these? You gotta tuck it. Right there. You gotta tuck it in. There we go. Now before, I'm gonna put adhesive on here. They make special screen adhesive. I'm gonna put that on here. But before I do that, because I don't even know if this thing works, right? So, we're just gonna line it up just to kind of place it gently, just like that. And we're gonna plug that battery back in. I'm gonna press the power button and on HPs, don't get scared. If this thing shows you a black screen for like 45 seconds, because on most HPs, the BIOS gets reset if you disconnect the battery and it'll just like panic. So this one was pretty quick. It did not reset. And I see we have an image. And for me, that's all I need to see to be confident enough to permanently place this in. I can see that there's no dead dead pixels or anything like that. Um, so we're, we're looking good at this point. I'm gonna just close it back up, disconnect that battery, and apply my adhesive. Sometimes the screen comes with adhesive. If it does not come with adhesive, you should go 
on like Amazon or eBay and you should get proper LCD adhesive that comes with the tabs that you can pull it. All right, the adhesive is applied, so I'm just gonna make sure that cable is tucked away again and bring it up. So now I'm lined up, I'm just gonna gently press against the sides here and this side right here. So there's two strips. I'm not gonna press too hard because you'll break it. I don't wanna break it. It really doesn't need that much adhesive. So I'm just gonna test it out. Looking good. I know it's scary doing that with an HP. Believe me, I know. HP hinges are not known for their uh, durability. I'm gonna plug in that battery again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Press the power button again and the best part. I love that part. Does that sound good? I'm sorry if I just broke your speaker. And we have the HP woman screen. The HP O man screen. Well, you're not gonna believe this one, folks. What does that say? That doesn't look like 1440 to me. I might need my eyes checked. It's definitely 165 hertz, but it looks like it's FHD instead of QHD. Now this is the package that it came with. The greatest technician that's ever lived. I swear to God I ordered the 1440p screen. I, I'm including the footage of me ordering the 1440p screen. So even though they did send me the wrong part, they sent me the right part for the model number that I needed, but I specifically asked for the 1440p screen. It doesn't matter because the point stands, you can upgrade these panels on these laptops, some laptops. You just need to do the research to make sure the, the connectors are the same with the wires and all that good stuff I already talked about. So the point remains the same. Uh, what, what I'll do now, now that it's, it's fixed, um, this is a customer's laptop and they, they didn't, I did quote them a 1080p. I was going to surprise them with a 1440p, but that ain't going to happen now, is it? So I'm just gonna put the, the bezel back on and we'll, uh, we'll clean out the gooch, at least some of it. This is my favorite part of the job of replacing LCDs. God damn it, you can't even hear it. Hold on, it's coming. This one right here. The click? That's not very satisfying at all. Oh, these clicks suck. Never mind. Usually these have nice satisfying clicks. This one didn't. These are bitch clicks. You don't want these clicks. Usually it's a nice snap. But that's it. That's how, that's how you can upgrade your screen when you break it or you don't like it or whatever the hell. That's, uh, that's an easy upgrade when you want to make lemonade out of lemons. Right? What is that? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. This is lemonade. It is uh, almond flavored lemonade. So this will, uh, this will last him uh, quite a while until, of course, the hinges break. Speed. Okay, so after I, I just noticed this. First of all, only HP things. <laughs> a little, little crooked. That's weird. It works fine, whatever. But what the hell is this? Is this thermal paste? As far as I know, this guy has not had any work done on his laptop, and that sure looks like thermal paste. I hope it's thermal paste, because if it's not, that means I'm touching somebody's dead children. Also notice how HP has these little, these little guys, these are just, this is extra, you get an extra content here. These little guys to probably take the, make sure the chassis doesn't flex when you're, uh, when it's on a surface, I'm guessing. Like it has something to, to support it. Who knows? Who knows what's going through the mind of HP engineers? My job here is done. Oh wait, I gotta clean this out. All right, fuck it, damn it. And now that we've cleaned it out and it's nice and gooch free, that's it. A few more screws and this has been a successful repair. Even though it wasn't the repair I wanted. The customer got what he wanted, it was a 1080p screen. I was trying to give them something nice. Look what happens. This is, this is why we can't have nice things. Because companies send you the wrong 
the wrong part. I specifically wanted a 1440p, they sent me a 1080p. They probably want to make sure that they, uh, consumers don't buy the wrong part, but you know, what happens when a consumer wants to buy the wrong part? I'm consumer in this, in this scenario. But thank you for watching. This is a, this was a quick video. I wanted to bang this out before CES. I'm probably going to be releasing this Friday and you will see that, uh, our, this entire week going forward, me and Lupe will be in CES. We'll be at CES in Las Vegas and we'll be pumping out content more than Lupe pumps your wives. Oops. And, uh, yeah, so look forward to a bunch of things. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you to the greatest supporters that ever lived. And, uh, all you guys that, that watch my nonsense. This is to, to 2025. Happy New Year. Oh my God, it's 2025. This is going to be the first video of 2025. Happy New Year. The greatest New Year that's ever lived. HP. Oh man. See you guys. I wish they spoke. Freeman. I wish Freeman spoke. That's the issue. They're not the issue here with communication. It's Gordon. Gordon's not saying anything. Surely these guys can understand. Stop the spinny things, boys. Yeah, I know. I see it too, buddy. I need to stop it. Oh, I spooked you. This too. Nothing. Not a button. Not a button. Yes, I need to get down there. I get down there.